I realized this on the cushion or in monastic life. At one point I saw myself staying quiet in a moment where the personal cost was, I deemed it just subconsciously to be too great to speak out. And someone was going to not have me at their back when they needed it because of this, you know? And then, and I caught myself, oh, wow, you might've been one of those cowards who just sat around and let this stuff happen because the reputational cost or the personal cost was too great. And it's like, yeah, that's how Nazism happens. Not because people love hate. I'm against hate. Well, that's not how Nazism comes about. Well, people are like, I hate. You know, it's like some kind of rage explodes inside someone and they start tearing the tearing down the system, you know? Or there's a bunch of people who are just too cowardly to speak out, you know? I mean, it's complicated, right? It's complicated. Something that I was doing in my life that I kind of subconsciously knew was not good. And I found myself running through a perfectly airtight justifications for why it was okay to do that thing. And that was the moment when I'm like, oh, this is what the Nazis did. When they were stuffing people into boxcars, they were, right. they were going through this thing like, well, yes, it's of course because this and this and this and this. And right, 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 right. All perfectly justified, you know? And I realized, oh, you can justify anything. Right that, right. that was the a big wake up moment. But if I could justify that, by extension, I could get into that position where I can justify any horrible thing and make it sound, you know, like it's a good thing to do. Oh, uh, yeah, I got to be careful about that. At this point, you know, after the last few years, I'm like questioning everything. Like I'm looking at things that I would never have even questioned before going, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. That sounds yeah. like there might be something behind that. <laughs>